Italian first division resumes today and where better to be than here in the San Siro Stadium for the 208th derby between Internazionale and AC Milan. Rarely have the two clubs captured such international attention. Inter, of course, the reigning champions of Italy, a title they took from their closest rivals. Milan, the current holders of the European Cup, it's a most compelling match, even though neither side has really touched the very peak of its form this season. Milan are down in eighth place, but a 3-2 win over Juventus in their last game offered greater encouragement. Inter have lost twice already, but they've won their last two league games by three clear goals. The referee is Pierluigi Pairetto from Turin. The big problem Inter have today is to cope without Lota Mateus, who's been the heartbeat of their midfield. Mattioli is also missing, so there are places for Vedelli and Cookie, while Morello is preferred to Bianchi at number seven. Defender Riccardo Ferri sums up for us the extra importance of derby matches nowadays. Una partita particolare perché negli ultimi anni eh, non si gioca solo il derby, ma si gioca gran parte dell'Italia del, e dell'Europa, in quanto il Milan è reduce da una, da una conquista in Europa, Coppa dei Campioni. Noi siamo reduci da una conquista in Italia, campionato italiano, dunque c'è questa, questa partita che eh, è tornata ad essere protagonista non solo in Italia ma anche in Europa. Milan will miss Carlo Ancelotti, who's had a knee operation. Evani comes back into the side. Massaro takes over from Simone, and Tassotti is back from suspension. Tassotti in trouble off the field here for tax evasion, and so too is Franco Baresi, who nevertheless took time to give us his opinion of derby matches. C'è molta rivalità, e quindi questa partita vale molto. Vincere un derby vuol dire stare tranquilli fino al ritorno, no? Quindi. Noi una sensazione particolare, un'atmosfera, c'è molta attesa, molto entusiasmo. Quindi per noi giocatori è molto importante vincere, ecco perché si sta tranquilli un anno poi. Milan to kick off one of the great occasions in the Italian first division each season. It's underway. It's sure to be tight, it's sure to be tense. But in the past, there have been occasions when a drawn game is of particular use to both sides, but that can't be said about the current circumstances of the two sides. Ricardo Ferri getting a finger wagged in his face by the referee. If Milan are going to move up the table, they've got to look to win every game they play. And Inter are a couple of points adrift of the leaders, Napoli. Serena's header. Well, Morello chased it right the way to the line, but Costa Curta let the ball run. Andrea Pazzagli is still preferred to Giovanni Galli in the Milan goal. So it's a big game for him. Raikard. And how Milan would love to have Ruth Hullet back for a game like this. The news, the latest news, is that he's started light training on the knee injury that really occurred in the European Cup semi-final last season against Real Madrid, although he did make such a, an important contribution in the final when not fully fit. Here's Frank Reichard. A number of the players have been away on World Cup duty. And uh, the Italian internationals have been playing friendly games, involved in friendlies against Algeria, which was 1-1-0, and a goalless draw at Wembley against England. This is some typically hard running from Bertie. Who did play for Italy against England. And is very much in the mind of Azelio Vicini with the construction of his squad. When 
the World Cup. Selections have to be announced. So it's not just a significant season for teams, it is for individual players as well. Fortunes could be made over the next few months for those who really catch the international eye. Bergami, who's been through it all before, of course. It was good work by Masado as he was fouled and keeping the ball for Milan. Card. Easy for Mandolini here. Here's Bremer. Giovanni Trapattoni, the inter coach, had one season in charge of Milan, the club he played for with such distinction. So there's always an interweaving of stories around the personnel involved in derby games. Here's Evani. Masaro with not too much support from midfield. From the derby games last season, Inter collected three points out of four. Only one goal was scored in the two fixtures by Aldo Serena. Van Basten, that's delightfully done for Donadoni. When you see Milan combine like that, you wonder how they managed to lose three out of four league games until they got back to winning ways against Juventus two weeks ago. Van Basten... And Donadoni is certainly on the same wavelength. Bremer. defenders do hit the ball too long it's because they don't want to be caught playing a short pass and losing possession it's not a match in which to take risks it's an occasion for the strong of heart as well as the strong of body and Rijkaard certainly not the most popular player amongst the uh, Inter fans this is Morello. Rijkaard stayed with him. The two inter defeats this season away to Sampdoria and away to Napoli certainly not results to disgrace them. Apart from that, it's been pretty much as you were the arrival of Jürgen Klinsmann, here he is, has, if anything, increased the firepower for Trapattoni's team, he's got seven goals already, Bergami, Serena's head up, Bertie, there was confusion there between Baresi and Pazzagli, as Aldo Serena headed on and caused a moment of panic. Morello, Sassotti's tackle. It was a typical knockdown by Serena, and also Bertie anticipated it well. Cookie has run offside this time. And Arrigo Saki must have been concerned a moment or two ago. Funnily enough, while Klinsmann's been scoring so consistently for Inter, Serena has dried up somewhat with just one league goal so far but he did score Italy's winner against Algeria only a couple of minutes after coming on as a substitute eight days ago that may well have helped get Serena back in the groove Ferry Bremer. 
still very much in the sparring stage this match. But here's Mandolini, well forward, Munt with a goal before the half-time whistle. They certainly got the opportunity from the corner. And it was a difficult volley for most players. And Vastin, capable of such heights, might feel he could have done better. It's the last act of the first 45 minutes. It's been a match where you've never wanted to avert your gaze. But at half-time in the San Siro Stadium, it's Inter nil, AC Milan nil. The Milan coach, Arrigo Saki, has had his half-time say. He makes his way to his touchline seat. Down the years, Milan have slightly the better of things. 79 wins to into 71 with 57 draws. So it's a case here of whether Milan can beat the old enemy for the 80th time. But very little to choose territorially between the two sides in the first half. And nothing to choose in terms of goals. We haven't had any. But that's not to say we haven't had the opportunities, which came rather more regularly in the second part of the first half, when the football was much more fluent. Neither coach has made a change during the half-time break. Ferry. Morello. Fuser taking the ball from him. Fuser playing in a derby for the first time. One of the signings from Torino. Trapattoni knows all about though, the special demands players in these occasions. Raikard. Barese saw some room and accelerated into it. Raikard kept pace with him. Barese shoots and Zenga had to be sure in his save. Well, he has problems off the field, Franco Barese but you would never know from the performance he's putting together here. Reichardt working well with him. Ferry. Well, that was a sensible ball, if slightly risky in the end, across the face his teammates, but it reached Bergamy. Bremer. Klinsmann. And Serena couldn't quite change direction quickly enough. He was concerned about going offside. That's always a problem for opponents of Milan, who operate with that square back line and push up in such an organised fashion. With five minutes into the second half. Perezzi waved players forward and then the fact was disguising his intentions. Evani. Evani taking his time. I say again that Milan really had the greater incentive to win this derby rather than play for a draw. Barese. Oh, and Van Basten found room for a shot, and Milan have scored! Only a player of the highest quality could have fashioned a goal out of that. And Milan have just such an animal in Marco Van Basten.
Perese well forward again. Just a little roll pass, and Van Basten just got the shot away before the challenge came, and it was perfectly angled. And now we really do have a derby. Marco Van Basten for Milan. And he's come back from injury a month ago without any loss of quality, really. If it's possible, he looks even better. Serena. Well, it's about this time of year that the experts around Europe start to cast their votes for the European Footballer of the Year. And Van Basten will be uppermost in their minds again. Bremer's corner for Inter, who want to hit back straight away. Donadoni gets to it. Ivani taking too many touches. Serena, this is Mandolini. Serena, Klinsman, it's offside. And I'm sure the linesman was right, but Milan have been a little uncertain since they've scored. There was the uh, header, and at that point, Klinsman was offside. It was a little tighter than perhaps I first thought. And Trapattoni clearly had his own views. And I think disappointment was the greatest emotion that he felt. Fuzer. Now will Milan conduct their strategy now that they're a goal up? Bremer. Rosie providing some cover, but not taking a chance with a back pass. And Ivani yet again caught out in his own half with a little too much belief in his own ability. It's the second time in a matter of moments, really, where instead of just uh, being safe, he was looking for more than that. It's a fault, really, on the right side, I suppose, but it led to Ivani stretching there, he did play the ball first, but Klinsman went down as though he'd been mugged. And that could have deflected anywhere. Mandolini keeps it in play. Morello. Maldini coming in from an angle that displeased the referee, and a yellow card for Paolo Maldini. Possibly for the protest after the award of the free kick, rather than for the foul itself. Since they've scored, Milan has spent much of the time in their own half. Here's Bertie. Maldini did well. Reymar racing across to take the corner. He's looking to swing it in. Costa Corta, Berti, and finally, and acrobatically, Pazzali. And uh, the tempers now are being lost. And the card is being brandished. Berti might have got one here, and maybe the goalkeeper as well. That was a Bergami, first of all, then Bertie. Serena hoping it would drop his way, came off Baresi. And Bertie had any right to go for that. Raikard. Fuser. Trying to keep.
keep Frank Reichardt at arm's length. Fidele with help from Cookie. Morello. And there might be a break on for Milan. It's inspired by Maldini. Not enough elevation on the cross for all that. Fuse holding up Inter, but unfairly. San Siro Stadium, a wash with emotion here. Serena. Klinsmann couldn't climb high enough. Into trying to ease the anxiety of their followers. But the Milan supporters in very good heart. And hoping for more from uh, Van Basten. Tassotti couldn't reach him. First to it from Donadoni. Donadoni has the ball now. He made sure Milan kept it, although Bergami dumped him on the deck. Tassotti. And Milan just emerging now from a spell when they've been tied down in their own half but they've defended with a lot of courage not always quite as cleanly as they would have liked Morello Mandolini and Bergami trying to plot the route for an equaliser dropped off the back of Serena's head behind Klinsmann though in front of Berezi this is Rijkaard, Van Basten to his left, Massaro is there as well. And uh, between them, they couldn't directly fashion a shot at goal, but Donadoni gets himself involved. Rijkaard, and Van Basten, unable to get there. to the compelling nature of the match because Inter have to come out now and Milan are finding some gaps Fuser looking for one of his own Ferry and Fuser did he foul him? No, it's a goal it's 2-0 and Ferry cannot believe it Fuser, if he's surprised it's masked by exhilaration and look at Zenga's reaction. Inter are furious. Fuse is absolutely thrilled. It's his first goal for Milan. What a time to get it, but it came controversially. He was one of the architects of the move. But Ferry clearly felt he was fouled, but he should have played to the whistle, a player of his experience, and that's 2-0. And the ground really in uproar now at the scoreline, but more than that, at the nature of the second goal. But let's pay tribute to Milan. Certainly they've struggled in league games recently, but that's a very attractive scoreline for them. On comes Bianchi to replace Bertie for Inter. And Saki, I think, more than a suspicion of a smile. Inter, though, have the free kick. Maldini got to it. And the referee spotting some jostling off the ball. Well, 
much of the Milan uncertainty over the past few league games. Oh, well, there's some uncertainty there from Tassotti, who's repaired the damage. And much of that will be forgiven. A derby victory is a terrific tonic for the winners, but for the losers, it's the complete opposite. Van Basten, what a pass to Fuzet. The two scorers looking to link up here. I was just thinking, Ricardo Ferri has had some difficult times in derby games a couple of years ago. It was his own goal that gave Milan the two points. And his error... Call it what you will. If you're an Inter fan, you'll blame the referee, I'm sure. But certainly the second goal, assuming great significance. And Ferry was culpable. And Milan getting ever closer to a most prestigious victory. Morello. making sure that those around him don't slacken in their concentration. And Andy Bremer can take a wicked corner. In towards the near post where he hoped that uh, Ferry might have been able to help the ball on. Badelli. You have to say that... Uh, Inter have missed Mateus rather more than Milan have missed Ancelotti. Van Basten, Rijkaard. Now Fuse, who played for Italy B in midweek against England B, so he's had quite a few days of success on a personal front. Ivani. Oh, that's a marvellous ball because Verdelli was playing Massaro onside. Massaro tucks in the third. And Milan end any lingering doubts. It's their day. It's not his day. I doubt whether Trapattoni has been on the wrong end of a three-goal scoreline in a derby game before. And Massaro clearly in the clear and onside because Verdelli had dropped off too deep. Donadoni. A lot of expectation before this game a lot of opinions voiced of course but I think a 3-0 success either side was not really amongst the expected scenarios and the Inter fans already heading for the exits it's going to be a difficult few months for them in this city until the two sides meet again whatever Inter do and Milan failed to do before the next derby. The Milan supporters will always be able to point to this particular match. Klinsmann, and even his short touch lets him down. And there might have been an opportunity for one goal back. And after a very even first half, the story of the game, quite simply, that... Milan have taken their chances here. And they've won it. A moment of real quality from Marco van Basten initially turned the game their way. Fuse's goal will be debated, I'm sure. And Massaro added a third for Arrigo Saki's team. But after the disappointments of recent weeks, that's a great comeback here by Milan.
to beat the champions by three goals to nil.